Welcome back, everybody. This is your daily news report, your stimulus check update, your second stimulus check update. Yes, now a third stimulus check update, the relief package EIDL PPP 2.0. We are talking everything. It is Saturday, the 16th. On this video, we are going to get into some very specific details on the EIDL, the grant program, the loan programs. And guys, if you are side hustling, if you are out there driving Uber, if you guys are out there with a business, sole proprietors, gig workers, side hustlers, maybe you have a job and you still work a side hustle, this is for you, okay? We're going to talk the EIDL grants and how you guys can get an extra stimulus check valued anywhere between $1,000 up to $10,000. Guys, come along on this one, all you gig workers, listen up. Welcome back, everybody. I am Edward Builder, and you guys are watching Ask Builder. To my loyal subscribers, you know who you are. Thank you guys so much for joining again. And everybody out there joining us for the first time, welcome. Uh, we have a special announcement. We're going to talk about EIDL grants today because there is a huge milestone that is coming up tomorrow where the portals at the SBA are opening up, and they're going to start taking applications. Guys, get all your details right here. Uh, this is the channel that pays you. If you guys aren't a subscriber yet and you're joining us for the first time, become a subscriber and drop a comment down below because I am picking when I hit my 5,000th subscriber. One lucky comment from down below to send a $500 stimulus check to. Guys, I'm going to go through like my, my viewers right now. They're dropping comments everywhere, okay, because I am going to grab... A lucky comment and send that subscriber a $500 check, guys. <laughs> if you want to increase your chances of winning, go drop comments everywhere. Everybody else is doing it. Is on this video, we're going to talk about EIDL grants and we're going to explain it very specifically for everybody with a side hustle. I say side hustle. Maybe your side hustle is your gig and it's your full time job. So maybe you're a gig worker, right? Gig worker, side hustle. You could be working a job and get this extra stimulus package. So guys, come along with us. We're going to talk the grants. We're going to talk about the eligibility of the grants. We're going to talk the dates of which the grants are going to become available. And we're also going to talk about some loan options right there in the very end. So stay tuned to the end of the video. Something in the beginning may not apply to you, but stay tuned because you might find something key in there and you're not going to want to miss out on either, you know, up to 10,000 bucks, extra stimulus money. Everybody could use that right about now, guys. Thank you to everybody who found me on Instagram. You guys are amazing. Uh, you guys could private message me over there anytime you want. And guys, don't forget about in the description, stop by Weeble. They're giving away four free stocks. Promotion is not going to last forever. Value up to about 3000 bucks when you deposit $100 today. All right, let's get into those details. Okay, let's talk about who is eligible for these funds. Practically 60% of all Americans qualify to get one of these grants. Uh, you're going to say, what? 60% of all Americans qualify. That sounds crazy, right? So let, let me get let me get into this a little bit. Now, gig workers, listen up. If you have side hustles, listen up. You could be out working a job. You could work for, I don't know, Apple, or you could work for some, some big company that, uh, I don't know, manufactures metal or something, right? Uh, collecting a, a paycheck, right? You, you get a paycheck. You get you collect a stimulus check. You're getting that $600, that, that lousy little $600. But you have a side hustle. You go to work every day. You get your paycheck, and at the end of the day, you drive Uber on the way home. Or, you know, you drive Uber on the weekends. Or you're doing Instacart on the weekends, right? Or maybe you're managing real estate. You have uh, Airbnbs. Or maybe you're a landlord. You guys all qualify for this, okay? <laughs> you don't need a corporation. You don't need an LLC. And you could work a job, all right? So as long as you have a side hustle and you could prove... Right now, they're, the, the new stipulations are saying you have to prove that you have a side hustle. They may ask for some IRS information. As long as you have that side hustle, you can qualify for an extra stimulus check, free money, extra stimulus check, anywhere from $1,000 up to $10,000. Now, there's, there's two ways you're going to qualify for this, up to $10,000. I'm going to talk about that in part two of the video. It's not a loan. You don't have to get forgiveness. It's free money. So take your $600 stimulus check, and if you're in that 60% with a side hustle, or you're a gig worker and your 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 gig is your full-time job, you guys qualify for at least 
an extra thousand dollars, you guys are getting a sixteen hundred dollar stimulus check. Now, you, you have to go through, you have to test, you have to side hustle, and then your funds are going to be coming. So you go into the, you'll basically go into the SBA's portal when it opens. You'll test that you have the side hustle. You'll put your bank information, and in. this is how this is how the round one worked. This is how the first one worked. You put a bank account in. Told them that you needed the advance, and within well, it was it was a few weeks. <laughs> within a few weeks, hopefully it's faster this time. But within within a few weeks, uh, you saw your money, your funds are on the way. Now, how much can you get depends, and we're going to talk about qualifying uh, qualifying things coming up just just next in the video. But if you want to get that extra fund, following that sixty percent category, you're going to get at least an extra thousand dollars on top of your crappy six hundred dollars stimulus check. Okay, now how are you eligible to get a slice of that $25 billion that Congress set, up, set aside in the COVID-19 relief package? Yeah, they set aside $25 billion for EIDL grant money. All right, now the grant is an advance on a loan. I know I said loan, right? It's an advance. You do not have to be approved for a loan. You could be declined and you do not have to accept the loan, right? You could refuse the loan and you still get that grant. You don't have to apply for forgiveness. You, you don't have to do anything additional. That grant is yours as an extra stimulus check under the EIDL grant program. You can get up to 10K. I'm gonna talk about two ways that you qualify. So if the first way doesn't apply to you, stick around for the second way, because the second way may apply to you. Now the first way, if you wanna be insured, you get that $10,000. Uh, you have to come from there's three stipulations. There's a, the relief package outlines new stipulations. You have to come from a low income community, uh, suffered a reduction of 30% in your, in your revenue over an eight week period, uh, fewer than 300 employees. Now, what is considered a low income area? It is if the poverty rate for such tract is at least 20% or if the county does not exceed 80% of a statewide median family income. That could be rather expansive. There's, I, I can think of several areas in Pennsylvania that fall into that category that have millions, millions of people living in them. I say up to $10,000. Now, it could be the balance. Now, if you receive the first grant, right, maybe you're an employee of one and you receive that $1,000 from the first round, uh, you will only receive the balance up to $9,000 if you qualify in any of those now three new categories. We don't know yet. All right, we're waiting on guidance from the uh, from the SBA. We don't know yet if you have to reapply, uh, if you've already received your thousand dollars and you're looking for that balance of that nine thousand dollars. We don't have that answer yet. We're gonna track it right here on this channel. We're gonna let you guys know as soon as that guidance comes out tomorrow with the SBA. Um, and also, right now we do know that you don't have to fill out the old form. The SBA posted up on their website that they are coming out with a new form, which you know has new criteria, new guidelines set 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 into it. So in round one. The original COVID, uh, the original uh, CARES Act, right? Uh, people were rushing. They were applying on this old EIDL form. The, the SBA basically threw out all those applications and said, here's the new form. They came out a couple couple weeks later. <laughs> here's the new form. Go go to this portal and uh, you have to reapply. So don't, don't get caught up and use that old form. Now, qualification number two. All right. Now, the CARES Act said <laughs> you guys could get up to ten thousand dollars what the sba did is they put guidelines in there that was one thousand dollars per employee up to ten so if it was if you mistakenly put a zero you had zero employees thinking well i'm just myself i have zero employees that equaled one and one also equaled one so you would have received a thousand dollars now if you had three employees you would have received three thousand five employees five thousand all the way up to ten employees ten thousand dollars now we have not seen any changes that if you're outside of the uh, low income 30% reduction or fewer than 300, we haven't seen any changes to that with the SBA. Now there may be new guidelines set tomorrow, but as of right now, that seems to be the way it's gonna work, okay? So most likely it's gonna be $1,000 per employee. Now question, a lot of people are asking, what if I applied for the original one and I was only one employee at that point in time, I only got $1,000. But now today, I am three employees or four employees or five employees. Can I get the rest of that $4,000? Possibly, <laughs> okay, possibly. We're waiting on those guidelines to come out tomorrow. Uh, there are many, many influencers, YouTubers out now, out right now talking about the fact that you can go in and, and, and 
uh, amend that original amount that you can but we we haven't actually seen it set in stone by any guidelines by the sba so we're waiting to see what they're going to say tomorrow and how it would work if you could go back in and qualify for additional funds okay when <laughs> when is this going to be available when can i get my extra you know thousand dollars up to ten thousand dollar stimulus check okay uh the answer is sunday the 17th the portals will open that they will open for the new 10k grant it's going to be flooded i can guarantee you that the SBA's portal may not function properly. It may not work very well. Uh, it, it was it was crazy for the first round of grants. Uh, watching the portal, it, it just didn't act very well. Okay, so it may be frustrating, and you may be waiting a long time uh, inside the portal. But it opens on Sunday, and the guidelines also come out on Sunday. So a lot of our questions are going to be answered that we're going to ask here coming up in the video. Now. Uh, Let's say you had a change, all right? Let's let's answer some questions as to can you apply twice for a thousand dollar grant? You already received a thousand, and you qualify, and you want to know if you could get a second one thousand dollar. The answer is no. If you already got the grant, you can't get the grant again. And and if you didn't qualify for more, you can't get the grant again. You only qualify for that original amount that you were approved for. Uh, but if you had a change, let's say you had a change of employees. And you originally only had one employee, you got $1,000. Now, your two employees or your three employees, all the way up to 10, you can go back in and apply for that balance. All right, we're waiting on the guidelines. They're going to come out tomorrow explaining exactly how you could go back in and apply for that balance, that grant, and uh, more to follow on, guys. Watch it. Watch it right here on this channel. We're going to explain it all for you guys as this whole thing unfolds. And we take a lot of viewer testimony and we take a lot of your feedback. We do a lot of your interviews. We answer a lot of questions right here in our comments. And again, you guys could find me on Instagram, Ask Builder, over on Instagram. I answer a lot of questions over there as well. Okay, let's talk EIDL, the loan explained a bit. Now, I'm going to post several videos over the next few days explaining the differences between EIDL and PPP because a lot of viewers are confusing. They overlap them. And in some cases, you could qualify. You could be eligible for both of them. In most cases, you could be eligible for both of them. There are certain stipulations in there, and I want to talk about all of them in, in detail. And I also posted plenty of videos on how you qualify, what the eligibility requirements are, and what the loan is, and the terms and conditions on the EI, EIDL itself. So I will talk more expansive in that throughout the week. Right now, I want to talk about a second draw. Now, this means this means you've already received your first loan. Maybe it was $30,000, right? You qualified for $30,000. And you want to go back in again and say, hey, I need another $30,000. Or maybe I just need $10 more thousand dollars. Maybe I need something else, right? I have new information and I need more money. Uh, so that's a second draw. We are not clear yet. And we're waiting for the guidelines to come out on Sunday with the SBA to determine if you could go back in for a second draw. All right, so follow the channel. We're going to answer all your questions right here. You're going to hear it here first on whether or not you could go in for a second draw. Now, can you reapply for the increases, right? That means you qualified for 50, right? And you only took 30. Do you want to increase it, right? Yes, the answer is yes, okay? You can qualify to receive the additional funds up to that 50,000, maybe you just, maybe you qualified for 80 and you took 40. You took half of it and you need the other 40? Yes, you can go back in. Uh, we are also waiting for guidelines on the 17th to come out as to how you can get this done but we do know that you can get it done. Follow along with us here. We're going to get all your answers solved right here. Thank you all so much for joining me again. For everybody out there who liked and shared this video with your friends, you guys are amazing. Everybody out there who commented, we're getting close to that 5,000th milestone where I'm going to pick one lucky comment of my subscribers from down below and I'm going to send a $500 stimulus check out. I'm going to pick a random winner. If you guys want to increase your chances, remember, go out to my other videos, drop comments everywhere. I'm picking a comment checking that you're a subscriber and I'm going to send out a $500 check as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. Guys, you guys are awesome. Uh, check out all my videos on PPP, Idle, the differences between the two, talking unemployment, we're talking relief packages, we're talking current events. Guys, check out all the videos. I will talk to you all on the next one. Bye for now.